All right, it's definitely feeling like winter today. This is a look at the snow downtown. The snow just keeps on falling, but for how long? And where? Well, here's the man with all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> You've been busy, my friend. I have been busy, but it's been so remarkable. I took Pepper out. Pepper enjoyed it today. Yes. It's it's really been nice uh, in downtown Cleveland. It's very rare that we can actually get some accumulating snow, and Big it not looks so fluffy. nasty. Fluffy flakes. Big fluffy flakes. Yeah, we had a lot of water content in the snow showers today across the region, and they're still continuing for the vast majority of the area, but you know, some dry spots are beginning to move through. We do still have a winter weather advisory in effect for some through 10 p.m., others through 1 p.m. for you tomorrow. So we're going to stick with this at least for right now because we're still expecting some additional snows to fall across northeast Ohio. Look at some of the snowfall reports across the area for today. It's certainly been an accumulating snowfall right for the season, anywhere from five to six, perhaps even seven inches are expected over the next couple hours or so, at least for additional people there. Strongsville, just over five for you. Polk and also Medina, five and a half inches. Ritztown, you come in at just over four. Mansfield, about four inches and Trumbull at about three. So we're still waiting on additional reports to come in from National Weather Service, but all in all, it's been a snow filled Sunday. We're at the freezing mark right now. 32 degrees recorded at Cleveland Hopkins. We still have that north performing wind. Feels like temperatures are now in the 20s, courtesy of that north wind coming right across our lake. And we can expect additional snows to move on in. Not too much more over the next 24 hours. One to perhaps two inches that could push some people up to about seven inches of snow in total. And then we'll have a dry slot come in on Tuesday. This is a look at satellite and radar where that area low is just to the south of us along the uh, Ohio River Valley. We're still pulling in that north wind as I was saying before, but we have to go back for the past six hours and see all of that snow that moved through. It did hamper some travel across areas inland over to Orange, down to Bainbridge, even getting south to Strongsville, Medina, even all the way down to our friends there in Worcester and over towards the north and east as far as Ashtabula goes. Over the next few hours, additional snows are going to be likely. We're still going to have a little bit of mixing coming on in because we're still going to be in the mid to low 30s, not quite at the freezing mark. The cloud cover will keep us kind of holding steady for about 33, 34, maybe even 35 degrees for some people overnight tonight. So it's going to be extra slushy. So be careful waking up for you tomorrow morning. Your National Design More Hour by Hour forecast keeps that trough extending south across the area. With that north wind, we're going to power on the lake snow machine for us for the first half of our Monday. Perhaps a few peaks of sunshine in the afternoon will keep our temperatures hanging out in the 30s and then scale them back into the upper 20s with the southwest wind breezy overnight Monday into Tuesday. Tuesday, a cloudy day, no doubt. It's not going to be a very beautiful day across the area at all, and models are trending. We could get some light lake snows far north and east through Tuesday morning, and that could likely trend towards the afternoon. By Wednesday, our bigger system starts to arrive. It starts to carve its path across the area. Look at this, okay? Firing out of Texas, we have a lot of rain coming with this, so a lot of moisture is going to be moving through. A lot of moisture equates to fatter flakes. So we're likely going to have some pretty hefty snows come in and it's likely going to be all snow to start. And then once we get a little bit of mixing come on in, we could have some warming temperatures kind of flirt into the bed of this system. And then as it pushes over toward the north and east, we're back to snow showers. So that's what we expect on Thursday and that could bleed over into Thursday night into Friday as well. Then another clipper fires out of Canada and that takes us into the weekend for Friday heading in towards Saturday. So we got a lot of snow days expected this week. Overnight conditions are expecting to be in the low 30s overnight tonight. Few snows possible throughout the day for you tomorrow. A little bit of peak of sunshine is possible, mainly clouded over a few lake snows in the early morning hours. So we'll keep it locked in in the mid 30s as far as your afternoon goes for your Monday. Could it be that we're trending towards above average precipitation where the six to 10 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center is showcasing that? And hey, we're already seeing that pop up on your Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook. So take a look at our temperatures here in the mid to upper 30s by Monday, Tuesday, cloudy skies some perhaps late snow showers moving in with that system on Tuesday night, Wednesday rain snow mix Thursday. We're back into the game with temperatures around freezing marks, so all snow expected on Thursday, bleeding towards Friday with that next clipper moving on in. Saturday starting out with some snow and could have a little bit of mix by Sunday in a week. So yes, we yeah. are indeed in late January in winter and Mother Nature is letting us know it. Yeah, yes, she is. <laughs> all right, thanks so much, Jason. You're welcome.